All right, guys, we're at a new site. Just broke ground. Got the boys in the back doing some grading on our leach field for our septic system. Let me drop it in these poly tanks. Graded and did some grubbing. Septic system in the back. Water line off this front. It's a smaller lot, uh, 0.3 acre, something like that. New piece of equipment on site. Loving it so far. And we're going to start putting down some piping and infiltrators on top of our three feet of sand based off engineering. Perfectly level, enough space to build our manifold into our poly tanks. Caught our field. Elevation top of our dosing tank needs to be four inches higher than the top of our manifold. All that mass already done with. We're gonna set this dosing tank, make sure it's level. Got four or five inches of that road base on there. Into the next tank, into the foundation. Bringing our line four inch from our thousand gallon into our clean out five feet within the house foundation over 24 feet. Let the pipe fit. Clean out five feet away or within five feet of the foundation. Looking forward to showing you guys digging these footers. From the foundation, in this first gallon, solids will hit the first first compartment in this tank. It will get filled up. Gray water will leach into the second. Once that's full, it'll go into the dosing tank. Once the dosing tank and the pump is activated, it'll dose into this leach field. But based off the thousand gallon and the 500 dosing tank behind it, that's plenty of power for a small family. So we're gonna be forming 30 to 24. I'm just putting in piers, nine piers for the deck and porch part. Got all our concrete stuff over here. You guys have seen a little bit of the septic system. We're ready to start forming these footers so we can pour our footers and then form and pour our 48 inch walls. Four foot crawl space, cabin on top, cabin kit. We like that foundation, like a two foot overdig on both sides. Plenty of room. About to put our four corners down and square some things up. Try to get a perfect square and uh, pull some string. summer day squared this thing perfect dropped my four stakes my four corners put a string around the outside make sure everything's perfectly square we have a 16 inch footer so I'm gonna form the outside first which means all I really have to do is now that my strings perfect 
and is kind of dictated as the center of the wall, I can pull eight inches on the outside, form everything that way, and then I'll come back and form eight inches from the string on the inside or 16 inches from that farther outside form. Um, that's the way I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna kind of start eight inches on my outside, get that all level to where it needs to be, which is gonna be the trickiest part. And then once the outside is completely perfect, formed and square, I'll come back and match everything 16 inside from that. Let's get her done. So if I go into my handy dandy DeWalt calculator, because that's how Millennial does his math, uh, the square checking for a footprint of a 30 length times a 24 width is a cross of 38 feet, five inches. 20, uh, 24, 30 equals 38, five. We got our 38 and we're right on our five. Let's check our other cross. Just checked that cross over there. Now we're gonna check this side, this round. Ooh, daddy likey. So we like our square. We like our length and width on everything. We're really tight. Everything's within an eighth, I do believe. Pretty confident. And we're gonna go ahead and start forming up, boys. Now that I know I'm perfectly square, I'm gonna be eight on both sides. So I'm just gonna go everywhere on my outside, make sure I'm a perfect date. I'm a perfect date. Then I could technically do the inside or I could just pull 16. That's how wide our foot is gonna be, eight inches deep.
Whew, it's almost beer 30. Is this all really level? I want to go over here on this other side, do that run. Nice. I'll make sure we're not too high over here before I stake everything. We look a little high. It's a start. We're out of here. 